Yo, what's up guys, welcome back, and I have here the Battle of Polytopia. Now, this is a strategy mobile game for Android and iOS. This is not a new game, I've been casually playing it since 2016, so it's not new. But I thought I'd give it a shot and record some gameplay for you guys. So before you jump into a new game, you should go to your settings and turn on your confirm, confirm turn option. And by default, it's on off. So you should turn it on because I've had so many games where I accidentally skipped my turn by pressing the end turn button. So let's go back. This game actually has a multiplayer option, but I don't really enjoy it because each turn, your opponent and you have 24 hours to confirm your turn. So some games, they can go pretty fast if your opponent is playing it relatively actively, but some games can last days or even weeks without you guys really doing much because it does give each other 24 hours for each turn. So let's jump into a new game. Now, Polytopia has two game modes. You have your Perfection and your Domination. Perfection is the game is limited to 30 turns and wh whoever has the highest score wins the game. So you can get a score from a multitude of things. You can research a lot of tech. You can create a lot of cities and you can probably kill and dominate other tribes. In domination, as it sounds, the only objective of the game is to be the last player or be the last tribe standing. And you can do that defensively and let, wait out for everyone to kill each other or you can be the aggressive one. So right now I'm going to do it with the perfection game. So we have 12 playable tribes. Then you have your special tribes. By default, as a free player, you can only have you only have access to four free tribes, and I suggest playing each one first before considering buying the other tribes. Tribes here are like nations in Civilization, if you're familiar with it. So each tribe has its starting tech. So the Zindi have their climbing tech. The Imperius have their organization tech. The Barder have their hunting tech. And the Omaji have their riding tech. And apparently, they all have their individual music. I didn't notice that till now. So let's start off with the Zinzi. Let's pick them. Now let's go for two points. And a normal difficulty. So let's start a game. So each time you start a game, you the world creates a random world for you. So each playthrough is going to be unique. You have been chosen to rule a Zinzi tribe, explore the world and expand your empire, but watch out for the other tribes. So the objective is to get the highest possible score since this is a perfection game. So let's move our warrior here. Let's create a new warrior. Now the game is running off one resource only. You have your stars here and you produce a number of stars depending on the number of cities and how Develop your cities are this is your tech tree it's not a very complicated tech tree but for a mobile game it's definitely more than enough then you have different resources which I'll get into later next turn and here is our confirm turn option okay then since we are surrounded by quite a bit of forces and three fishes. Maybe we should research the fishing tech. Let's research that so that in the next turn we can harvest these resources and hopefully upgrade our city. You go there. And this icon, this style here, lets us create new cities. So, unlike civilization where you make a uh, Special unit to create new cities. Here you have to have special tiles. Okay, then let's end our turn. Okay. Hopefully, next turn we'll be able to capture that village and create a new city. Found another one. And let's harvest one. Okay, fishing. Do it. Okay. As you see here below my city, I have two dots. The two dots represent the two warriors that I have, the two units. So each unit 
occupies a dot on that bar which means I can only have a certain number of units per city and as the city expands so does the limit of the number of units I can have now this blue progress bar is the progress I currently have into upgrading my city currently I'm at half so I need one more resource so to upgrade my city so let's end our turn okay let's make a new city here capture and we have now a new city let's go here capture that and let's get this last fish so we can upgrade our city let's do it okay so every time a city levels up the game gives you two options and an explorer is basically a some th it shows you a uh, wide area around that city i find that the workshop is much better because it, and as the turns go it pays for itself because of the stars that it produces so right now we at our we at we are at five stars per turn four from our capital and one from the city we just found now one thing you should note is that every time you make a new city the cost of the tech the research increases so if earlier you can recall that the hunting tech used to cost five now that we found another city it now costs six and as we make and capture more cities that'll just go up and up so make sure if you're going to capture a city you may want to research first before doing that so let's end our turn okay then let's capture this city then let us train our little warrior so whenever a unit captures a village they become a resident of that city so if you remember before we used to have two dots here this unit here and this unit here in the different cities now they're not they're part of the cities they founded it's a great space let's explore this area here since we're particularly vulnerable i have three stars let's conserve that so we can research more stuff later on let's end our turn so i've met another tribe it's imperious as a gesture of goodwill they share with you the secret organization and the organization tech allows us to research or harvest rather fruits so I hope they don't attack us. Let's produce a warrior here just in case. Then let's go here. Let's produce another warrior here maybe. Then let us let's save our stars. Actually, let's make another warrior here. End our turn. Oh no! So do we attack him? Or do we let him take the city? I think I'm going to attack him. Okay then. And we are now officially at war with Imperius, which means we should diverge quite some units to that direction. Let's explore here. Wonder what's there. Okay, we quite have we have quite enough stars. Let's research the hunting. Because beside it we will be able to research archery. And of course we have some animals here we can harvest as well i want to increase this one since i want to be able to produce units here let's end our turn we are particularly vulnerable here train Set up a workshop there. 
make sure we are I'm gonna leave that there and not attack first let's explore here that's another village we can capture from here okay so we don't have any enemies here so let's just capture that and make sure we defend this front actually I am going to go here let's end our turn Okay then, as you can see, since our unit is in the city, it has a shield around its health points, which gives it a bo which means it has a bonus to its defense. So there are actually a quite complicated game mechanics here. So let's attack this one. You attack this one. Let's create the warrior. So you can capture a city. Let's capture this village. You go there. You go there. You go up. You help them out. And I think I want to spend the last of our stars to upgrade this city here. Okay, let's end our turn. I want resources. And I think I want to expand this city as well. So let's spend four of our stars to get two of these animals for hunting. So we can expand this city. Let's get another workshop. And make sure we get that star income going. Let's end our turn. Okay then. Let's scout here, see what we can find. This is probably the capital because this is the biggest city. I mean, it's a big city. We have enough resources for another kind of tech. Let's check them out. Let's research archery, shall we? Let's capture this village. Let's capture this village. Then we should end our turn. Okay then, let's make an archer here. And another archer here, since we already have a good amount of warriors. Let's see what you can do here. You move here, attack that. You move here, attack that. And finally, you move there and you capture that. Okay. Let's go here. We are seriously lacking in the amount of manpower we have down in the south. So let's just go there. Let's harvest more fruit. Do some hunting, expand the city down there. Okay. Let's have a workshop going. We go up the mountain since it gives us bonus vision. We have another city there. We're dominating this side of the map, so let's end our turn. Okay, let's capture their city. I have destroyed Imperius, so apparently that's the only city they had. Which is kind of sad. So apparently, this is a normal difficulty though, so I usually play on hard, so maybe we should have played on hard. Let's concentrate here, let's create a warrior here, make your way down there, create an archer, let's make your way here, what tech can we research, let's get our riding. So we can get a rider. Is that all we can do right now? Yeah, that's all we can do. Let's wait for the next turn. Confirm. So it's much more fast paced than the common strategy game. Of course it's on mobile, so it has to be. But you can leave the game or pause it and you can just go back to it. 
and even if you close the app it will save it for you which is very convenient so you can you don't have to worry about leaving your game so I want to make a port now so let's restart sailing so you can make ships build a navy I want to expand the city here since it will be quite exposed let's build a workshop here or there we are playing against one player last, so hopefully it's near so we don't have to travel far. We go here and let's end our turn. Okay. We should build a port here. So we can move some of the units without going through this. So there's nothing here actually, so <laughs> we should concentrate on moving our forces back down south. Are there any passages here? Let's create another port here. Let's move you there, move you there. Maybe there. What else can we do? Let's move some of you back down here. Let's end our turn. You go there, make a ship. Let's make another port here so we can move some of our forces. Go down, go down. Let's make this guy over here so we can explore more. Let's make another port here. Expanding that city in the process. You yeah, go there. See if there's any point in going there. And then let's end our turn. Okay. Now we have to research the navigation which costs 28 before we can go to the deep blue waters. Let's go here. Oops. So nothing here. Research navigation. So we can go here. Let's look for that next pile of land. Firm. Make another port here. So there's a trade route you can connect a lot of your cities to your capital and it'll produce population for it. Resources. Let's go with border roads. Resources, of course. Okay, let's make a warrior for this one. Create more ships. Where is that guy? This is a very odd map. This is a, these are randomly generated, so you can get some fucked up. Let's just concentrate. Finding the next guy. You go back here. Let's make another warrior. Let's create another ship. Where is this guy? Huh? 
Ha. Maji. Let's upgrade this to a ship. Upgrade it to a battleship. And one shot them. Let's capture this. And then let's make these go here. And then let's create more ships here. Let's end our turn. Okay. Having a good navy in this game is so much such a good investment because how powerful you can create battleships with. As you can see there I can one shot most tier one units. Move our forces. Let's see if we can create some more. Let's make this area there. And then more here. Let's end our turn. Go here. Let's make a rider so we can explore faster. Not gonna bother with the treasures because I really want to get more of my forces to the other side. Does my battleship reach him? No, it does not. I'm not gonna attack him since my archer is quite weak against those type of enemies. It's under our turn. Let's go up here, see what we can find. Over here. So normally a game with more opponents and harder difficulty can last about an hour if you're really in a tight swap. I'm assuming this is your only city. And let us capture their capital and we have destroyed the Maji which leaves us to the last part so we can actually continue playing until turn 30 even though you don't have any more opponents because you might have killed them but you might not have you might not have the highest score so let's just keep on ending our turn until we reach turn 30 okay and last turn we finished the game. Okay. So you are ranked for your performance. Fortunately we only have one star. You can compare yourselves to the others online. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, that is Battle of Polytopia. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe and like the video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.